We've all heard about surrender and letting go on the spiritual path. But what about passion and commitment? Where do they fit in? Yes, there's surrender to the natural flow of the universe. There's letting go of the need for an outcome. But you do still have to show up for it. Because that's how the soul is realized, how the one is actualized. We're here to create and express the one. And that's not always going to be easy, especially in a dense and challenging environment, as this one is right now. So that's where passion and commitment come in. They're utterly essential to unleashing the full majesty of your soul. And only the expressed completeness of soul will lead back to the one. I'd say passion and commitment are like partners that walk hand in hand together on the spiritual path. But you certainly can't magic your passion out of thin air. And you won't be committed to anything you're not truly passionate about. And it's highly unlikely you'll succeed at something if you're not truly committed to it. Yes, there's surrender to what is. But from this infinite potential arises the natural impulse to create. And for that, you need an aligned vehicle. So it's essential you find your passion in life because this will fuel the path. This will energize your evolution. So how do you find it? It's said that your passion lies at the intersection of three or more interests. What is it you gave up on as a child? What are your most favored pastimes? What brings you the most joy? It's clear. Successful living needs to be fueled by the sense of play and adventure, of lightheartedness and fun. Paradoxically, they're often the things we think we don't have time for. Dance, art, music, movement, being in nature, being creative, just for the fun of it. Your interests will lead to your passion, and you'll know you've found it when you can say it in one sentence. I thrive to support the shift. I commit to being all that I can be. Speak it out. Shout it out to the universe. And the universe is going to reflect how to get there because it shapes around true passion. That's what it does. It reflects authenticity and vibrancy. And it reveals what gets in the way of you, the real you. But passion by itself is not enough. There has to be the commitment too. The path is not easy. Sometimes situations are going to hit you hard, physically, emotionally, mentally, and there's nothing to be gained by denying our authentic feelings about this. It's in times like these, you will have to face your own inner demons and karma. Many times your efforts will fail or in a physical sense come to naught. Many times you'll get knocked down and pushed back, but if you're committed, you'll find the essential thing, which is the lesson, the teaching, the very key to unlock the door of your next shift, your next evolution. It means you'll come through the challenges and expand out, but that's going to take passion and commitment. That's what this is really all about. The game of life. It's the full emergence of you as a being. That's what the universe will work tirelessly to support. It'll shine the light forwards and it'll even create the obstacles, for they are the stones from which the pathway is formed. Did I say it was easy? Easy it is not. But if you've found your passion, that will fuel you. You'll keep getting up when not back. You'll keep digging and unfolding. You'll keep making those essential shifts in your beingness because you'll realize the underlying fundamental truth about life. There is nothing but nothing going on other than your self-realization. That's the only thing that truly makes sense. So what interests you today? Even if it were the last day of the earth, what lights up your eyes and puts a fire in your heart? Create the time and the space, more and more, give yourself to your joy. And when it gets tough, as at times it surely will, you'll steadily realize it's temporary. 
it will change. The light will shine through, and with each passing step, you'll have grown a little more. So find your passion. Don't rest till you do. Don't settle. Find what stirs you to the depths of your being. Don't stop till you've found it. Then ride the energy for all it's worth. You'll forge the commitment. You'll unfold your soul. And then anything, literally anything, becomes possible.